Alright, so we are back. Episode 2. Episode 1 ended a little abruptly. Uh, I kind of run over on time. Didn't really quite understand how all that was going to go. So, we're here now. We're back going. And uh, we'll continue with uh, our harvest up the top. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I have changed the time to times 15 so that uh, hopefully we can start, you know, at a, at a time in the morning like a normal farmer would and work uh, a full day. And hopefully that'll be about 30 to uh, 40 minutes. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try that out and see what happens. Uh, trying to think. I guess the only thing we can do is just jump up there. Yep, he's ready now. We're forty percent on this trailer, so uh, once he empties this time, we'll probably just uh, chase him to the end. we get to 50% uh, 100% I'm sorry if we get it on this go round if we get full or get close to full we'll, uh, we'll just go empty I'd like to put it in storage until uh, there's a high demand, but we kind of need the money because we need to get a sower going here and a fertilizer. have taken down my tags at the top and bottom. That was actually for my Twitch feed. But, uh, figured I'd leave it up for a video and see what happened. Well, of course y'all can't see uh, Glance Mod at the top working, so y'all don't know what's going on otherwise elsewhere. Yeah, I figured I'd just uh, I'd take them down. Get lined up here when he gets turned back around and see if we can't top this trailer off and then go dump it. Probably should have just went. Back down to Sandy Bay Farm and got the wind rower hooked up with a tether. We'll see. Hopefully he'll be, be able to fill me up right here.
Bill said to uh, do some repairs to the, the head of there. So uh, I'm using the headset with a microphone built into it. Steel Series 800. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. Just got it. have an actual desk. I'm not sitting at a desk looking at a computer screen. I'm actually uh, playing on a big screen TV. I have everything completely set up where I'm totally wireless. That's 92%. Let's go ahead and go dump this. And, uh, we'll come back and then we'll jump down to the main farm and Get, uh, get a tractor hooked up on the tether or something. So we can't find something else to do. That's probably gonna wrap us up once we get uh, some tethering done. Tethering, 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 tethering. I don't know. Maybe y'all know how to say that. Put it in the comments. I'll let the gate over her. Right now you're supposed to be able to dump it in these. Actually, you can dump it in these down these grates, grating, and it'll fill up the same. But uh, no big deal. Either way, six more and a half dozen. Of them. back up there. Little feel. Hop back down to the Sandy Bay farm. Oh, got the fence. In real life I'd actually go out there and take that fence down because it'd be in the way. adjustable bear bar, but I don't know what to do with it.
beauty. Shut that down. Jump down here, let's see. What tractor do y'all want to use? Let's use this JCB to tether with. It ought to run it pretty good. I'll tell you what let's do. Uh, we'll just make hay out of all of it. We'll feed that to the sheep. They don't like it. Oh well, they'll figure something out. They got plenty of grass to eat until I get a load wagon. Big JCB tractor. The small one's nice too. Ah uh, man, I like that big one. You'll see me use it a lot. That'll be the first tractor that I buy. Sorry. Toes it off, I guess. This thing unfolding. It's a big tether. is we'll figure it out. We'll go back and hit it again if we got to. Oh yeah. Plenty. Plenty of room. Now we get over the middle. I don't know how that's going to work because uh, See the terrain right there in the middle? I missed a bit. The terrain kicked up a piece of the tether, I imagine. Recording this, the first video is uploading. I've done a little bit of editing, and kind of updated the software a little bit. Got some editing done on that. Trim some fat, you know, stuff y'all probably didn't want to see, no way. I'll try to cut out most of my driving. I'll try to do some time lapse. I'm going to try it on the first one after I get it uploaded, I'll do some more editing to it. I guess if you're watching that one, you'll know what happened. Uh, 
excuse me because I had to make some turnarounds right here. So let's jump out where we can see. Yeah, I guess so. They better in cab it out. Finish this up and I'll get back with you in just a minute. Alright, so that is tethering done. Fold this up. Next thing we do be rowing it. And then bailing it. <coughs> Excuse me. Try to Probably gonna get the uh, the little new hauling out next. Take it down to uh, one of the small fields close by, and let it uh, get us some windrow. Some straw rode up. So we can get some straw bales. And, uh, that way we can, uh, we have some straw, some bedding for the cows, and, uh, some uh, mix for the uh, mix ration. Once uh, once we get a uh, few bales, you know, five or ten or something, well, uh, if we get that many, we can uh, come get that uh, forage implement and. Uh, Get us a little silage going. Because I don't have a bell wrapper. So fold this bad boy. <laughs> I just can't see from in there. I'm sorry, I'm trying. This is a pretty good mod. This is just class wind rower. It, uh, it's a basically just a reskin. I don't know if the guy made any changes to it or not. I'm not sure what all he did to it. But uh, if you'll notice, once I go to fold it up, after you initially run it one time, and you fold it up, Matter of fact, let me just stop and show you. It's hard to explain. The, uh, the front right uh, little fan there will actually flop around a little bit. I did before. Probably just making me a liar right now for no reason. All right, let's uh, let's jump back up to the right here. Sorry, I said I wasn't gonna do a bunch of jumping, but until we get more equipment moved around, where I can. Use it to run 
back and forth and that kind of thing, then I'll uh, then I'll be able to do it. I just thought about something. If I get a whole row done, I'll go up to, uh, go up and get that, uh, that case tractor, put it on that baler and see if it'll pull it. Or, no, we'll probably just hook the T7 to it. That way we ain't got to worry about trying nothing. See there? That's the terrain. Hold me up. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll make a row when I get close up here. Then we'll we'll go get the get the T7, put it on the baler, and uh, we'll make us a lap, and then we'll uh, put him on follow me. Thing out the way. is T7.
suspension on this thing on that the whole New Holland pack the guy that did that like really 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 took some time and effort and made that thing just right now let's jump out and get it unfolded Oof, it's getting a little late. Late. Let's see how close we can get without falling off. Oh, we hit a wall. Turn it on. Hold it down. Pretty good many bales out. Never actually square bailed this this field before. I did round bales in it. Another save game. Of course this tractor's all over the road. Over the road, the road. Struggling a little bit getting up his hill. She can do it. This T7 is pretty stout. I think that's why I like it so much. Now because we have Baylor Ad grass, it might pick that up. Yep. Probably gonna I already got six bales out of it. That wants a level ground now I can move. You know what? It's uh, it's getting late. Let's hold off for what we got here. About got another bale pop out. Let's glance mod. Anybody wants to see it? It's hay, 13% humidity, 4,000 liters, and it's good. It's A plus quality for $1,712. for you buddy we knock this out we ain't got to worry about it no more it's a good sized field Dirty, dirty. Usually the combines don't get that dirty. It must just be this mod.
Well, get this unloaded. Hook it back up. Take it back down to the farm. Oh, that's cool. You can actually fold up the deal before the uh, pipe gets all the way in. Can't do that with regular while the regular stuff. Supposed to be able to line that yellow mark up. Center. gate this back pasture that way we can uh, drive straight over to the uh, shed no you know what matter of fact no I ain't gonna do that I'll pull it up around the front side of the farm and then we'll buy some pressure washer I don't mind dirty equipment if I'm using it but if I ain't using it better be clean. Take care of your stuff and last longer. The way things are made nowadays are not made to last very long. They're just made to use it for the time being. Put it right there on the corner next to that trash can. Fresh washer looks good, said right there. Oh, my. Oh, here I am. Apparently, you can't put it on that side. There we go. Oh, we got some. Uh, trick to pressure washing, and I see people do it all the time. They're like, oh, you spread on the name and it'll go faster. No. The wash comes from the distance. If you can make it spray out like that, it don't take but a second. Watch this header. If I get up on it just right, or to lay a misting pattern out, it won't take but a second to wash this off. See there? All clean. It'll take but a second. Jump up here. 
dude. Take this back. Don't be it. There's a gate there. Try to dump this one in the uh, down the grate, the chute, grating, whatever it is. And, uh, see what happens to that. And I haven't used San Diego for like one time. Regular San Diego, to me, I'm not a big fan of the sheds. The ones he installed up the top. I don't know why, I'm just not a big fan of it. I think he could have done something a little better with that. good for episode two hope everybody enjoyed it and as soon as I get some more videos uploaded we'll be able to go live with, uh, with the YouTube thing I'll be able to you'll be able to view them so all right we'll see y'all later